tired of your English course book? Want to try something new? In this video, I'm going to show you some great new ideas on how to keep your English learning fun and more effective. So let's go. I'm Deirdre Nicholas from Palm Tree Teaching TV, teacher, speaker and your personal English language coach. There's nothing more motivating than trying something new, is there? When learning is fun, you work harder, you learn more and you remember more too. So why not change your ways of learning so you don't get bored? Now I'm going to show you quick and easy ways to avoid this boredom, things you can do today. So let's start now with seven of my favourite great ideas that you can easily do to supercharge your English in a fun new way. Now the first new way is to study in a new location. We have a phrase in England, a change is as good as a rest. Sitting and studying English in the same room at the same desk all the time can actually get boring after a while, can't it? So if you normally study at home, why not go to a cafe or a library? Changing location has been known to improve memory as well. Your brain makes connections between what you're studying and where you are. And when you change location, your brain will make new connections, which improves your memory. So you're much more likely to remember what you've learned in your new location. Number two, learn English slang. Don't just learn English from course books, as I often say. Learn the English that native speakers actually say. Learning slang is fun as well and increases your understanding not only of the language but also of us British and our culture too. And you'll sound much more natural and fluent. So for example, you can learn about having a cuppa, a quick cuppa, a cup of tea, and a butty, a sandwich, in the morning. And when you meet your friend at the cafe, you could say, I missed the bus this morning, I had to walk, I was gutted, which means you were very disappointed. But you would be very chuffed, pleased and happy when your friend gave you a birthday present. So whilst this isn't standard English, it's much more what people would say on the street, what they call street talk. And it's fascinating to listen to and to learn. So why not watch my video on learning slang, which I've put above for you to click onto, and then go on from there. Number three, use English resources for children. So have you ever noticed that when you look at children's books, you think, wow, that actually looks really interesting. Well, why not get your own children's books, in English of course, from your local library, or there's lots of them online as well, lots of free online resources on the internet. The language will be simple and easy, and it will be much more colourful and fun and engaging. And the stories are often amusing too. Oh, before I go on to the next fun idea to learn English in a new, exciting way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos and lessons. And of course, if you would like me to coach you on a personal one-to-one -one basis, just email me on the email below, deirdre at palmtreeteaching.com. I can really motivate you and give you even more new and exciting ways to learn English. Number four, and my own personal favourite actually, is follow an English celebrity. This could be someone like Emma Watson. Stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Put me down. Now. It's got a bit of a thing for you, Hermione. Call Mac. She's vile. Now, what a beautiful British English accent she has. Absolutely beautiful. And if there's one thing which will not feel like studying, it's selecting your favourite celebrity or film idol and watching their films and interviews. Just make sure they speak good English. So if you choose someone like this actress, for example, Emma Watson, who was Hermione in the Harry Potter films, you'll certainly get a fantastic British accent to listen to and a fantastic British accent if you copy her. Now, why not go onto YouTube and watch the interviews with your English celebrity too, where they talk naturally in native speaker English, like this one of Emma. 
I feel like I'm in an incredibly unique and special position. I played Hermione Granger in Harry Potter, who was one of my kind of like childhood heroes uh, growing up. And then I also got to play Belle, who is another one of, you know, these characters that really kind of dominated and, and, and characterized a huge part of my, yeah, of my childhood and my growing up. Number five is take a linguistic study trip to the UK here with us. exciting new way to learn your English and one which will give you an incredible boost to your English is to take a linguistic study trip to the UK. Now many people I know are attracted to the bright lights of London and there are but there are also loads of lovely towns and cities across England and on the whole trip you'll hear lots and lots of native speaking English being spoken all the time. Just sit near people talking on the bus or on a park bench, you'll pick up so much real English. Like here in this restaurant near Bournemouth Beach, I am hearing English all around me all the time. At Palm Tree Teaching, we organise English study trips to London, of course, but also to many beautiful seaside towns on the south coast, like Bournemouth, which are very popular too. Lots of shopping you can get here and really friendly people. And we partner with the best schools, so you get top quality English teaching as well as a full immersion cultural experience too, of course. Now, if you're interested, please do contact us on Deirdre at palmtreeteaching.com. But don't worry if you can't manage this. On this YouTube channel, I try to give you a flavour of Britain and us British people and British English without you even having to get on a plane. Number six, sing karaoke to yourself, preferably of course in private. Do you like singing? Because if you do, English songs are a great way to learn English and English that real English people speak as well. So learn a few English songs and sing along to them like we do in England. Singing English songs really helps with pronunciation, intonation, as well as learning more informal English. Number seven, watch YouTube videos in English. Now, YouTube is a fantastic site to find all sorts of English, as I'm sure you know. Of course, there are Learn English channels, like this one, but also, why not watch English-speaking films on YouTube too, because they're all free. So most have captions now, which makes it much easier for you to understand and follow what's being said. You've served under me for seven years. I think it's time that we talked about you having your own command. I'm grateful, Captain. Though, I would be significantly more so if I thought we had any chance of ever returning to the ship. And if you actively listen, as I talked about in my video on listening, you will improve your pronunciation and intonation too. So you can enjoy a great film and improve your English at the same time. Of course, there's an amazing YouTube channel which you must subscribe to and watch. You may have heard of it, Palm Tree Teaching TV. <laughs> Of course, there are many Learn English sites out there and you'll find channels that you like more than others. It's personal taste, really. 
Now, I have lots of other videos on my channel made to support you as English learners, but also lots made for teachers too. So have a look at the rest of my channel. I'll put some links below to help you and you can have a look at those when you watch this video. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this amazing channel and enjoy your English and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.